Okay, I think we solved the technical problem. I'm sorry for the delay. And we're gonna move right on. If you can put the light a little lower, please. Um, it's my pleasure uh, to present uh, the next students. Um, I, I know him from a long time, actually. <laughs> Uh, we, we, we have a connection with the Conservatory of Music of Puerto Rico where he was a student. Um, his name is Jose Soto, and I'm gonna read your bio. Artist, educator, and culture manager, Jose Soto is founder of the Foundation Armonia Colectiva and the FIJAS Costa Rica International Jazz Festival. With a goal of creating socially aware music that better society, he experiments with Latin American music and jazz. His music studies took him to the Universidad Nacional de Costa Rica and the New England Conservatory. Soto taught uh, for two years at the Danilo Perez Foundation uh, Children Program in Panama. And in Costa Rica, he worked as a teacher at several respected institutions. As a performer, Soto explores a variety of sounds and aims to promote new musica, musical experience for audiences. Uh, I was his personal advisor for this semester and I had uh, a great time doing this session. And in this committee, we are welcoming Maestro Nando Michelin. Please, uh, please applause for Nando. Thank you for being here. Jose Soto. Thank you, Marco, for the introduction. Uh, thank you all of you for being here. Very excited about like uh, presenting my, my project. My project is entitled The Ancestral Call, Exploring the Path of Costa Rican Ancient Culture. My objective is supporting the rescue of the Bribri culture in Costa Rica through music inspired by my research of its spiritual and philosophical life perspective. Bribris are the first Costa Ricans. They are the one, one of the most prominent indigenous communities in the country, and the majority of them live in the city of Talamanca in the south of Costa Rica. I found that in the Bribri language, no word represents the concept of music or singing. The closest word in Brivi to represent this is the word talk. This word means talking in the ritual language and thus Brivi speak with their gods and spirits who live in the underworld, which is the nature, in order to create a spiritual connection with it. The closest resemblance of how talk can be understood in our society is the act of singing. It is essential to mention that only the most knowledgeable Bribris in their culture are the ones who know the ritual language to communicate with their ancestors. He's, there's um, an image of a Bribri. This is what for them represents the our world and the underworld. And where they live, the tents where they live represents the same concept. Here is Costa Rica, south of Costa Rica where they are living. My artistic representation of the Bribri culture is very personal and abstract because in their culture, there are no music elements like in other cultures such as songs, instruments, and rhythms. The music I am representing here is music that comes from the spiritual concepts of this community. To portray this spiritual connection through music, I am imagining myself as part of the Bribri community and thought about music as my version of the word talk. Thus, I plan to reevaluate the element of the social meaning of this word in the Bribri community and translate its philosophy through the composing of five songs that convey the Bribri spirituality and perception of themselves. According to Alice Gura, an influential member of this society and one of my advisors in this journey, a Bribri person contained four spiritual beings. For my project, I compose a song of each spiritual being because of the length of each of the compositions, I present in specific sections of each piece to portray the most important events of my pieces. My first song is named Se We Call You Rock, which means looking for my other being. I have dedicated this to the being of the eye, or in brief, Se Wubra We Call. This being helps the Bribis to be aware of the spiritual world, or what they call the underworld. The underworld is where the Bribis ancestors live, and in order to communicate with their ancestors, the Bribis speak in the ritual language. This composition is based on the poem 
it será que when a tight se iria it gets turkey, which is this poem here. It será que when a tight se iria it is a turkey, it is a turkey. Can a man be dead and say wait? Can a it será que a tight se iria it is a turkey. This composition is a choral for voice, strings, and percussion because of the spiritual character of this music. Voice in this uh, represents here the word, the baby word, talk, and the strings and percussion are depicting the underworld sound with the inner voice and the percussion effects. This is my first composition. Thank you. The second piece of my project is Suo. It's dedicated to the being of the aura, or in brevi, se we call. This being, uh, this being protects the breviaries from bad situations. In brevi, Suo means air, but this word also can be used to say knowledge, energy, and wisdom. Furthermore, Suo is also a brevi spirit that is considered a hero. Suo was the spirit that rescued the Brivis from the hands of the foreign spiritual being, Jablu, who stole the Brivis from their god, Sibu, in order to eat them. I convey Suo as the earth and the hero in the piano arpeggio, and the bass broken pattern represents Jablu. I am representing the uncertain destiny of the Brivis with the long notes of the sax. The solo section portrays the final battle between Suo, Brivis, and Jablu. And at the end of the piece, I added a rumba clave adapted to the general meter of the piece in order to suggest a possible connection of our modern society and the breweries. This is Suwo.
Thank you. Agua is my third composition and is dedicated to this person of the Brivik community who has the vital role of being a spiritual guide, a doctor that uses natural medicine, and an advisor for the Brivis. I base this composition on a Brivik poem named Asulala, which means, Oh, the Creator. This is Asulala. Asulala. I took another piece as a model for this composition, which is Prayer by Danilo Perez, which is I compose a third melody played by Danae, which represents the figure of the Awa. I harmonize Asulala and use some of the harmony of prayer for some sections of the piece. In this piece, I convey the underworld through the bass solo. Here is Awa. Thank you. My fourth song is Uwo Pro Uwo, which means the bearer. This piece is devoted to the vein of the bone, or in brief, Shebra. This spirit symbolizes the previous transition from this world to the underworld, because according to their culture, when we die, our bones are the last physical attachment with this world. This inspired the idea of composing a piece that reflects the persistence that the previous have for keeping their culture alive despite the constant difficulties they are struggling, struggling with. In this piece, I use a different motif from the poem of the first song. With this motif, I compose a short two voice invention. I harmonize it with close voicing in order to create an aggressive sound statement in the rhythm. With a cello on the name, I plan to create a warmer, a mystic aesthetic in order to represent the underworld. My intention was to create a lot of movement through changing the instrument's roles and using the cello on the name to create a chaotic, um, a chaotic environment in order to contrast it later in the B section with a more lyrical melody. This is my next composition. Thank you. 
This is this means a central call, and this is the last piece of my project. My pursuit with this piece is to represent the being of the liver or Javlo. Javlo is a spiritual being that represents honesty in the breathing community. In order to depict this, I saw an improvised melody that became the main idea for the composition of this last chorale. I used the same instrumentation of the first piece I presented because I was looking to replicate the same spiritual feel. I like to think about this song as, as a prayer. For future plans, I want to release an album with this music to donate the sales of it to organizations that support the preservation of the previous society. I am planning to apply to grants in order to tour with this music in Costa Rica and other countries and spread the message of this project. I am looking to research more on the Brevi community, compose more music based on other aspects of their society. I am planning to create an outreach program to bring this music to previous communities in Costa Rica, and I'm looking to support the rescue of the indigenous culture in my country. As a conclusion, thanks to this process, I was able to find a personal and spiritual dimension through my project. This philosophy has created a profound change in my perception of life and music. Besides being a musical project, the ancestral call has become a space for reflection which encourages many questions that motivate me to continue and deepen more on this subject. I consider this project relevant to emphasize the importance of a community that despite of living in a society that promotes many forms of sedation, previous teach us to counteract this way of life through their spiritual awareness. This spirituality allows them to live in balance with their environment and practicing social values that help them to fight this sedation. However, the society of sedation is a dominant society in Costa Rica and many other countries in the world. For this reason, I consider the ancestral call as a movement to stop, reflect, and learn from other ancestral societies how to find more ways to create a better world together and to wake up from this slumber life. This project became a spiritual and musical transformation that has impacted me in a very profound way. This philosophy has brought a lot of questions that I didn't have before, motivating me to keep my journey on this topic for the rest of my life. Thank you. Juan Soto. Congratulations. Beautiful. Beautiful one. Uh, Nando, puede empezar. I'm going to pass the microphone to his committee member, Nando Michelin. Thank you. Great job, Jose. That's it's okay. wonderful. And we met a couple of times, and, and I... I had an idea of the depth of, of what you were doing and all that, but the way you presented here with all the, the uh, visual aspects, it's, it's great, really great. Um, it's nice to see how um, not only you, you went into a, a research based on just verbal communication. There's not much music that you could rely on or instruments or you know that would have been an easy way like if you if you're re, if you're using some form some culture to get the influence that already has a, a big musical tradition and all that it's it's an easier path you it's very direct you know but in this case it's great to see how you went to the depth of the of the concepts that they that they value and the spoken 
the spoken sung language that they use, and how you you portray it in a very personal way. It's not a literal reflection of of what you hear on when they talk. It's, it's just a very artistic way. Um, it's nice to see the explanation that you gave on, on, on the musical elements that you use to represent that. But I'm sure that anybody listening to that without that explanation, even they, they could they could get that, that feeling anyways, which is the objective. You don't you don't people don't expect you to be explaining that when you play, you know, it's but it's it's wonderful work and, and very very proud to be, you know, <laughs> to to have helped you a little bit in that. Um <clears throat> I, I asked you that question last time, and I think it's it's nice um, for you to address the the um, what what do you feel that a bribery person could feel when they listen to your project, as, as, as opposed to like you going into their culture and understanding that and learning from them, what can they uh, feel or understand that is theirs? in your music. Would you address that? Yes. Um, I think that I'm looking for that they understand my humble perception of the, their perspective of life through this music. I'm not trying to, to be like, um, that's a very personal like the, the, uh, portray of what I want to, what I want to, what I'm understanding of their, their philosophy of life. So I hopefully, you know, with this music, I can find common tones between my perspective of life and their perspective of life. So that's what I want to kind of depict. Great. Thank you so much, Jose. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. OK, Jose. Wow. <laughs> what a journey. Yeah. <laughs> what a journey. Um, congratulations. Thank you so much. Um, I congratulate you on, on really finding yourself, finding more questions okay. <laughs> through this process and in, in, a, in, in many ways putting together a sound that also is very clearly influenced by you know, all the things that you listen and all the things that you've been exposed to, first of all, Maestro Danilo. Uh, and, and it is the impact he has on you, uh, but it, I, it comes out with a very, you know, very personal, strong voice. And I think that there's something that um, I really like you to see developing, you know. And it's such a broad and you know very all-encompassing um, ideas musically that you bring in together. Uh, having been your advisor all semester, I saw how much you struggle in finding a little bit of the um, center of what exactly you wanted to say as an artist. Uh, maybe you can explain that to the audience because I think this was a really important process for you. Okay, yeah, definitely. Um, thank you, Marco, first. Um, what I have uh, find the, the most challenging for this project basically was that the way I'm trying to, to translate their philosophy of life, the brief philosophy of life, through my perception of life. And because of we come from different, completely, despite we're living in Costa Rica, different so societies, it was super hard to, to, to kind of understand the way they were looking at things. Like, for example, just the fact that we think about music in a specific way, they even don't have the word music. So um, that's kind of um, led me to reflect on also a different cultures in the world that doesn't have the word and, and, and the word music and how they relate for, for us what is music to everything in the society. And for me, um, that was the, the most challenging thing of, of this project, how to understand the music has more roles in our society than just something that is um, entertainment or something that is like like that we listen to it. It's, it has a, a, a more a biggest role in in our societies, and for me that's that's the, the the thing that I found the most hard to kind of explain. And because of that, um, this <laughs> the word took for me in this moment 
means more like music than the word music by itself. So it's like that's why that I try to portray in my in my uh, investigation during the whole year. I don't know if I yes, you absolutely. Um, maybe you can explain, uh, develop even more what you say about what you just said about the word took being meaning even more than the okay. word music. Yes, basically. Um, Okay, basically, in the in the privileged community, uh, the word "took" is um, a word that means, as I said before, uh, written language. And the way how we understand that in our society is like if we listen to that, what they're doing when they mention that word, for us it would be singing, basically. And the, the most important thing about that is like they talk in order to talk with their ancestors. And that means like their ancestors basically live in this underworld that is like um, this place where all the spirits are living and make that the real world works, that nature work, that uh, everything in life, what they need, like the food work, like the water work, the everything work. So basically, in order that that they, in order that they that that, that them like can um, have their food, they have to sing, or make this action of talk, in order that they can get their food, they can like uh, uh, get their medicine through plants, they can get their like um, water, and everything else. So that's why for me, talk has a, a more stronger uh, meaning. You know, in this moment, because the purpose attached. It's because to of the purpose of, of the action. So, you know, being this such a, a spiritual and philo philosophical research that you did, you know, with this culture, you said at the end that you find a lot of some answer <laughs> and a lot of questions. Yeah. Can Can you talk about? Yeah, that? probably one of of the uh, the biggest one is labeling, how we label things, that make the meaning of those things very concrete. And make us like to to just be super specific about something else, like music. What is music? So what is talk? It's like it's just the fact of labeling music, a uh, kind of closing a lot of paths that we can take through really making, being using this art. So it's like for me, that's that's one of the biggest questions, at least. Other question is progress. What is progress too? Like, I I can't see how they live in a balanced environment and and very in a spiritual way, and they are very grateful about everything that they have, despite they are not in a living in a very materialistic society like we uh, we are, and how they have everything that they want and they and they need. And sometimes in this kind of societies, we have like a lot of ambition and, and we are always looking for more and more and more and, and that's one of the other questions I'm, I, I came with. Do you plan to present this uh, in Costa Rica? Definitely. I'm, I'm trying, I'm in contact with one of, uh, one person of this community who was my advisor, Alisa Gura, and he's a kind of an ambassador in a university from, ambassador of his society to with with our society, he's like a, a a connection between both, and I'm trying to to talk with him in order to to create a, a event and and put this music in service in their service in like in the previous you know for for the previous kind. Okay. Do you plan to investigate more about them, or this is it? Yes, no, that's just the the tip of the iceberg. Basically, like I'm just in a process in order to understand. I'm not fully understand the, 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 their philosophy and I need to get deeper in, in, in more as, aspects of their life. And for sure, I, 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 that's gonna take me like, I think my whole life. Finally, my last question, um, if you can talk about, you, you mentioned how your representation of this philosophy and culture in your music is abstract. You use the word, yeah. you know. Uh, can you talk f more about this word, like why you say abstract, and also can you talk about what challenges you faced in uh, translating this culture to, mu okay. to music? 
Abstract, I, I mean, because it comes from a very spiritual uh, perspective. Personal so perspective. Per, yeah. Personal, yeah. And, and, and it's um, kind of, in order to depict that in my music, I was, I was thinking more like how, how this, this idea of, of, when I was listening to the poems, how it sounds, like the whole, the whole poem sounds, and how, to, how, how could I depict it through my, like the idea of harmony or the idea of rhythm or, 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 or this kind of musical aspects that, that, and the way I found it, it was trying to use music in a more theatrical way. And because of that, I'm, I mentioned like the word abstract. The thing, for example, like I have, I had a very uh, good conversation with, with my advisor Ali, because I was, I, <laughs> I asked him like, what was the character of, of um, the spiritual being of, of the liver? Why they mentioned that? And he explained me like, so that, that's how, is, how, how hard it is to, to, to translate the, their concepts. He explained me like, so the liver is the one that kind of represents honesty in their, co in their, in their community. And I said, why? And he said, like, basically, you know, for example, in, in, in Costa Rica, we say, like, if we want to say, like, something that is true. We say, like, from our bottom of our heart, we are saying, we are saying, we are saying you the truth. But for them, like, the heart is, like, the organ that causes peop that people lies. And because of that, basically, that's a huge, com a completely different, like, way of, of seeing, you know, truth. So understanding that, that kind of understanding for me was like, I'm still processing a lot of that. And words that in Spanish like mean something in the brief seems to be a completely different thing. And because of that is like just understanding when he's speaking in Spanish, he's like talking about something else that I'm, that I'm understanding a different way. So just tra translating that is super hard. Every time that I have a conversation with him, it was like a different, completely different world. Like everything that I talk about, something I, you know, like kind of interpret it in a way, and I read it to him, and he said, like, no, it's completely wrong. It's not about that because we don't have this word, we don't have this word, we don't have this word, and that was the challenge I found. Well, um, as your as your advisor this semester, and seeing all of this uh, really coming to what you just presented, I want to personally congratulate you. Congratulations on this amazing project and your <laughs> Thank music. You. Yes. Jose, congratulations, Jose. Gracias. Well, well Gracias. done. Really, uh, to see you on this quest, of, on this journey, looking for uh, answers <laughs> and finding more questions as you do that. You know, yeah. that's fantastic. Um, I, I cannot side with what uh, he said about the uh, what Nando, Professor Nando, mentioned about the that it was nice to hear the music and feel it, 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 the 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 emotional aspect that it could have been without the context that it, it, it could be interpreted. It could be a reflection, it could be an impression, it could be very, you know, it could. So being a social activist myself, I'm interested in, in the part that, that, you know, first of all, before I get to social activism, I think before that, I, I wanna make some comments about the music, like the recording has to, has to come up a little bit more clear. Mm -hmm. The mixing has to be done, you know, the piano sound, you need to work on, on okay. uh, you know, that a little bit. I think it's music, the music that needs to be live on, digested, it's very, it's very involved, it's not something to get together and, you know, because it kind of has a, a limit to, you know, a yeah. way of, you know. Um, I think I think in, in terms of context, like I'm interested in if, if you are um, planning to go to live with them for a little bit. I would love to do that. Is that <laughs> yes. part of the plan? Because yes. I think that would that message will will bring for it sure. will bring it to the music. Will make it more real. It's still yeah. a reflection for me. I feel like a dream that. Yeah, that I have been trying to do it, but it have been uh, difficult sometimes. You know? Yeah. Um, I like when I hear the underworld. I like that yeah. world. I like that world. <laughs> I know. But you know, I wanted to say something important. That when when we talk about the underworld, we might we might not know what that that completely is not higher or lower. We don't know if it's in the lower or higher. It, it may be completely 
Yeah. So, so I want to go back to the word courage. Okay. And courage to me is like the resistance to fear, mastery of fear, not accent, accents of fear. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. So when you when you take that piano solo there, you go beyond what what's in there, and you start talking about the 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 you start playing like the story that you you're telling. And one of the things that is interesting to me is that this project has a conciliation with something, a word that comes in that the indigenous people are fighting for. And UNESCO, we, we talk about this. Mm -hmm. It's called reconciliation. Okay. So that this would fit really well in the terms of rec uh, a reconciliation project. Why? Because uh, the indigenous people have been fighting for climate change, yeah. sustainable development, the ethnic labels that you were talking about. Yeah. So there's a lot of actual social activism that they have been living. They, they are the prime example of that. My <laughs> challenge, if you want to call it to you, is uh, are you willing to step on the train of taking this beyond a reflection mm -hmm. and being a social activist for the cause of ethnic minorities are more likely to be poor, one, advances facing inclusion and marginalization, number two, and protect the environment. Yeah. Those are the three main things that they really, I mean, brought to UNESCO a couple of years ago. Yeah, I'm completely, I would be honored to be in that fight. So welcome to the train, because it is, <laughs> it is a big fight. Yeah. And, and, and you're going to have to really prepare yourself for that part. And this is a good step, global, global, global jazz. Yeah, definitely. But there is a real practical work that had to be done. And if that's the direction, man, welcome. We need it. They need it. They need support, you know. And um, I'm very proud of what you achieve and the vision that you're going for. And take it. Keep going. Thank you. Thank you, Maestro. That's <laughs> Thank you. Please uh, stay for our last presentation, 10 minutes. Thank you.